Mathematicians, welcome back. We're going to keep dividing decimals. Today, our learning goal is I can divide decimals with a remainder. Ooh, let's see what happens when we have remainders. Okay, so our first problem is 6 and 72 hundredths divided by 3. Now, how many ones do I have? I have six ones. So, we're going to first draw six ones. Now, as I, because I'm dividing by 3, I'm going to put my disks into three groups. So, if I have 6 and I divide by 3, how many are going to be in each group? 6 divided by 3 is 2. So, I'm going to put 2 in this group. 2 in this group, oops, I need one more space, and 2 in this group. Okay, and I'm going to cross them off as I do that to show that I've used them. So I have 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay, I've divided those. So 3 dividing 6, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Remember, this is our standard algorithm for division. 2 times 3 is 6. When I subtract, I don't have anything left. Okay, and then I'm going to bring down my 7. Now, I have 7 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I need to put them into three groups. So how many is going to be in each group? Again, we're going to have two in each group. So I have one, two, one, two, one, two. Now I have one left over. We're going to leave that right there for now. We're going to divide 7 divided by 3. We said that's going to be three groups and three, sorry, there's two in each group. Two times three is six. And when I subtract, I have one left over. There's my one tenth. I started out with two hundredth, but I can change this one tenth into ten hundredths. So now I have twelve hundredths and I'm going to put them into three groups. Twelve divided by three is how much? Four. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four in my first group. I'm going to put 1, 2, 3, 4 in my second group. And I'm going to put 1, 2, 3, 4 in my third group. So, I forgot to bring down my 2. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, 6 and 72 hundredths divided by 3 is 2 and 24 hundredths. Okay, let's try another one. This time we're going to take 6 and 72 hundredths and we're going to divide it into four groups. So I'm going to need four blocks at the bottom so that I can share my six and 72 hundredths into four groups. Now, 
when I do that, I have six ones. I'm going to put them into four groups. How many is going to be in each group? Just one. So I have one, two, three, four. I have two left over. And I can show you in the standard algorithm, four goes into six one time. One times four is four. Subtract, I have two left. I'm going to bring down my seven. Now, let's go. I had seven tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had two hundredths. I need to go ahead and put those in there. I have two, ten, two ones left over here. I need to move them over here. That means I now have 27 tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's 18, 19, 20. So I had seven, and I'm bringing my two ones over and exchanging them for 20 tenths. Now I'm going to split up my 27 tenths into four groups. So one, two, three, four. 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 Now, so how many are in each group? There's six. Six times four is 24. And when I subtract, I have three left. I gotta bring down my two. Now, I have three tenths, which equals 30 hundredths. So I'm drawing 30 hundredths. Now I have 32 hundredths and I'm going to divide it into four groups. So I have one, two, three, four. 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 And one, two, three, four. Now, how many are in each group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times four we know is 32. And when we subtract, we have nothing left. Now, if I want to check it, make sure I did this right. One and 68 hundredths times four we know that 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 6 is 18. Sorry, 4 times 6 is 24 plus 3 is 27. And 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. I was multiplying hundredths. My decimal place goes there. All right. So... This one 
is a little trickier. I don't have any ones and I don't have any tens. I do have two tens. I do have eight hundreds. Now I'm going to change color so I can, so you can see this better every time I make a step. Can I share two tens into eight groups? I really can't without breaking it apart. I'm going to make this chart bigger. I didn't make it big enough. Two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups, six groups, seven groups, eight groups. Okay, now I just want you to follow along. Two tens is twenty ones. Okay, now I have twenty ones. Can I divide twenty ones into eight groups or split it among eight groups? I can. So I have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's get rid of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Now I have eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So 20 divided by eight. How many are in each group? There's two in each group. Two times eight is 16. When I subtract, I have four left. I need to bring down my zero. Now, I have four ones, but I have 40 over here. So what in the world's going on with that? Well, four ones equals 40 tenths. Hopefully I counted right. Okay, we're going to divide 40 tenths into 8 groups. So I have, I'm going to change colors now so we can see it better. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I still have some more left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Miss Walker did not count correctly when she made her 40. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, how many are in each group? There are five in each group, and five times eight is 40. Now, I don't have any left over in my tens, but I still have my eight hundredths. So, when I subtract, or when I divide my eight hundredths by eight, I'm going to put one in each group. So, there's one in each group. Eight divided by eight is one. One times eight is eight. And when I subtract, I have nothing left. So, twenty and eight hundredths divided by 8 is 2 and 51 hundredths. Okay, you need